Purge Anarchy. This movie is basically uh, Frank Grillo's audition to be the Punisher. Is oh, what yeah. I felt like the whole time watching it. It's just like, man, I, he just seems like he wants to be the Punisher. He didn't get it, but they let him be in uh, Winter Soldier yeah. instead. Um, this so this one was more along the lines of what I thought the first one was going to be. Yeah, about. I agree. Kind of just like groups of people like out on the street, you know, either killing or trying to survive. Well, that so this this is what it really should have been about because that's where the interesting ideas come from. The first. The first Purge movie being a home invasion movie wasted so yeah, much you know, of its potential. They could have swapped it. They could have started it with this kind of story and then somewhere along the lines did a more focused story where we're not out on the street. We're just seeing a family being terrorized. See, I would have been okay Yeah, what I would like, I, I kind of wish The Purge was a a series. Not a series of movies, but like a, like a TV show series. That was mm-hmm. told. Did you ever read, uh, World War Z? Yes. You know how that was like just individual stories like this happened and this happened? Like, uh-huh. I, that's what oh, okay. I want to see the purge TV show like that, where it's just someone I see. recounting their, their night and how they survive. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you just 12 different like stories. Yeah. 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 Exactly like that. Like filmed almost like a, a fake true crime show where they're oh yeah so i want to see i want to see so I, I like where you're going right so we have the person telling the story they're being interviewed right and i want to see us like see like actual what it was like yeah. for them you know and, and show it and it'd be like really like terrorized you know like terrible and violent this and that but then i also want to see like what like their their uh, the recreations of what happened, you know how they do on these crime yeah. scenes, but they're really bad acting and like <laughs> there's no blood, there's no nothing like that, and we see that happen also, but it just looks really cheesy. That's what no, I see. you took it too far. But the right before that point, I think it would be a great show. Um, yeah, <laughs> you don't have to agree. Fine. Cause- if you don't agree, but I'm definitely right. Well, but anyways, hold on. We, we got to pause for a second. I got to grab my charger. Right. Hold up. I hope that doesn't mean something else. <laughs> the purge anarchy. This, this, I think it's not, I don't know. It, <laughs> it is. So it, it does a lot of things better that I wanted the first one to do, but I think the first one is a better movie. I, I think I, yeah, I'm the same way. I think I enjoyed the first one better, but number two definitely had like new elements to it that I feel is, hmm, I lost where I was going with that, but you get the yeah. point. Same thing that you were saying. I think it w- this one, uh, like I was saying in the with the first one, it, I wish they would have kind of gone harder in the racial aspects and stuff like that. This one I felt was yeah. almost too heavy handed in some of the points they were trying to make. Like the world became much more cartoony. Um, mm-hmm. especially with the predators. All the predators were, you know, these crazy extreme versions. Batman villains. Yeah. And, uh, I think that really weakened this because the, we'll just, just call them the prey, the, the main cast. Other than Frank Grillo, were very grounded in reality. Frank mm-hmm. Grillo was basically a superhero, but everyone else felt weak yep. and vulnerable. And that's that's I like that's that. what you need <laughs> in these movies. Someone that you can be like, oh yeah, no, that's how I would be in this situation. But when you have right, but I, f- I the predators being I like, f- like you said, Batman villains over the top. It, it's yeah. really hard to buy into it. I feel like the predator should be the same, right? You know, they're they're regular people. I want to see just regular people who, because I feel, I feel like the 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 bad, you know, the predators in this are like this year round, right? They don't just do this. They wouldn't just do this during the purge. They're like 
crazy. They probably just go kill people. That's what it feels yeah. like. I want to see people who are regular people who, you know, maybe they're nervous about being out, uh, you know, after, you know, during the purchase app, but they want to go kill someone. They, they want revenge or they want something. So they're out there like trying to do that. But it's, it's very clear that this isn't something that they would do at any other yeah. time. So like in real life, soldiers die in war against people who are not trained, right? You have soldiers yeah. who spend years and years of their lives, you know, preparing and having the best equipment and, you know, having all this intel and intelligence and preparation. They will still die to someone who is untrained who got lucky. In, yep. in these purge movies, the people who are prepared are almost invincible. Mm-hmm. You know, they like, there's no one taking pop shots at them. No one is just getting lucky. It's, it's essentially this movie was essentially the Punisher, you know, like you got Frank Grillo who is yeah. protecting these weak people who can't do anything for themselves while he's on his own mission, basically unstoppable against other people who are unstoppable until Frank Grillo shows up. Yep. There, I will say that this, this movie did do a good job of making me feel more, afraid you know mm-hmm. like i didn't have that feeling uh with the first one and and probably because it was confined to the home but like the fact that they were stranded out in in the in the, in the heart of the city yeah. during the purge where all the crazies like to go like that's terrifying yeah. like i don't know what i would do like there's nowhere you can go well the, that's safe. yeah this movie i think is much more relatable on the main characters not the world, yes, but the main characters. You're, it's much easier to relate to them than it is the first purge, mm-hmm. because so let's let's break down the characters. You got um, Matt Saracen. Matt Saracen. <laughs> so the kid Zach Zach Guilford is uh, yep. um, the kid from Friday Night Lights, and Kylie. No, who is his? Keely Sanchez. Uh, Sanchez. Is that his girlfriend, Liz? Yes. So they, they're from Lost. They are in a car and, uh, they, they get run into by a group of guys who are clearly ready for the purge. And they, their characters really bothered me because it's two hours before the purge. They are so far yeah, from the I didn't home like that. to go grocery shopping. That was nuts. That didn't make any it, sense it, to me. It, there's, there's no reason. It does, yeah, it's, it's, why are you so far away from your home to go grocery shopping? Yeah, that was such sense. little time. But anyway, so they they bump into a, yeah. Exactly. A, I don't care if I have two hours. Like that's not. I'm not going to risk that. That's not enough time. There's no way. Well, they're in Los Angeles, right? How many grocery stores um, are within one is mile? It Los Angeles. I thought they were within one mile. I thought it was New York. I don't think so. Um. But anyways, it, no, yeah, in a big, in a, I'm sure in a there's somewhere city. that's on foot is yeah, close. By. That's what I'm saying. How many places within a mile of anywhere is can you find a grocery store? You know what I mean? Like, you know what though is they had they had to go all the way out of their way because they wanted to go to a Whole Foods. Uh, Whole Foods, it's the biggest killer in any of these movies. <laughs> um, but <laughs> that's the real villain. <laughs> they bump into a group preparing for the purge. Uh, that group ends up cutting their brake line. I don't know. It wasn't really clear what they cut they, because they're, they, they cut something. Oh, it was a power steering. That's what he said it was. Yeah, that's His right. power steering went out. Um, and so now they're on foot and they're running away. Then there is, uh, uh, the two girls, the two Mexican girls who one is a waitress and she goes home and it's her daughter. And yeah, the mother daughter. Yeah. Love. So there's the, the father, the daughter, and then the great or the, yeah, the, gr- the granddaughter, the granddaughter. Um, they're all together. They're getting ready for the purge. They lock everything up. Turns out the grandfather has sacrificed himself because he's dying anyways to go and be mm-hmm. a, well, I can't remember what he called it, but just a sacrifice. 
to a rich family. For rich people. So the rich family is going to pay $100,000 to his family for to be able to kill him on the purge. Which cracks me up, right? Because it, I feel like that is something more along the lines that you would see in real life, right? There's like a really rich person who wants to kill someone and they've got the money you know, to convince someone to be uh-huh. killed. But this is the purge. You don't got to pay anyone anything. You could just kill. Well, the, uh, the point was so they wouldn't have to leave their house. Right, but I could have my butler go grab somebody. I, I don't know if it's that. It just easy. seems like such a such a high amount to pay to do you know for something that you can essentially get for yeah. free. I don't know. I I felt like it made sense somewhat. Um, no, it it makes sense. I I get it. I, I and honestly, I didn't even really think about it till right now. And it's probably not a high amount for them, but. Yeah, I don't well, know. That's it what just I was seems thinking. Like, I don't know. I don't know what price would be reasonable to be willing to sacrifice yourself for. If if you're already dying and you probably won't make it, like you know, another mm-hmm. year, then why not? If you can, if you can guarantee that your family gets that money. Yeah, but you're gonna get hacked to death with machetes for a hundred thousand dollars. What's the yeah? What's I would the have lowest to, amount you'll go, Taylor. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> so you will let me hack you to death with a machete if I give your family seventeen dollars. Um, I would say for it to be that painful of a death, I have five hundred thousand. Yeah, I don't know. I like. As, Even then, I'm like, you, you're gonna have to have me. I want to be on some kind of painkiller, morphine trip, something to to help alleviate this uh, pain because there's no guarantee that it's, it's a quick death. You know, you can just lay there and bleed out. Definitely and, not a quick death. Like, uh, one, just getting hacked to death with machetes would take a while because machetes. I don't know if you've ever hacked, try to hack through a tree with a machete. It's not super easy. Not a tree, but a person. <laughs> no, for sure. You know, like, it will take time, but you also have, you know, so the people doing it are these super rich, you know, people who aren't willing to get their hands dirty, essentially, right? Like, just kind of, mm-hmm. just kind of weak people, right? Yeah, they're going to give you these little dainty slashes. Yeah. And so it's just like, not only is it a horrific way to die, but you're doing it at the hands of people who are not going to be that capable of doing it. Yeah. And then as soon as they hit you once, like, you're going to run away, right? Like, you're going to sit there for more than one slash? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell, like, what what will kick in, yeah. you know, when you try to flee or... Or what? I think I, 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 I would almost say you need to like tie me down, <laughs> or else there's I'm gonna run, <laughs> or I'm gonna like attack you back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, the dad was old, right? He's probably in his 80s, but like, yeah. still, like, you, you're not. There's no. I cannot imagine anyone at any point in their life being willing to go through more than one slash of a machete. Regardless really? of what you're gonna get from it, yeah. you know, like unless it, it 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 you know you can't move after the first hit. But uh, I think I was telling you about that that video that popped up on my Facebook feed of the cow getting hacked at with a machete. Oh yeah, and it took a very long time. Like I watched it for two minutes before I realized what was happening. They hit that cow <laughs> a ton of times, and that cow kept going. That's crazy. So, huh. but yeah, so yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, that's, that's a tough situation, yeah. but he, so he sacrificed himself for the family. I thought that was kind of an interesting thing. It felt kind of out of place, uh, with the way it all went down because it was like, he just disappeared and I don't feel like you, he would have been able to disappear from his family that easily in that small of an apartment, but that's again. See, I thought, 
I thought he was sneaking away so he could go do his own killing. Like, that's his thing, right? But he doesn't want his family to know that he purges. And he was sneaking away, go and get his his murders in, and then come back. That's what I thought was going to yeah. happen. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really consider. It. I didn't even kind of, like. I knew he was up to something, but I didn't really think he was leaving. Like it yeah. wasn't that clear what was happening with his character, and then by the time it told you, maybe I just didn't care because by the time it, it it laid it all out, I was like, oh okay. Like it didn't. It didn't seem that weird to me. Like I, I wasn't yeah. really considering what he was doing, but so they're in the apartment without him, and they're like, "There's nothing we can do," which I thought was an interesting take on it because I, as soon as he disappeared, I thought, "Oh, they're gonna try to save him," but there'd be no way you couldn't save him. That family's no. gonna kill him no. instantly and go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. You know, like not the. There, if they, if this movie would have been about saving their dad, it would have been so much worse. So I, I appreciated. Oh uh, yeah, I agree. On I that. appreciated that 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 ended right there. That it never really came back. You know, that they didn't dive into it. Yeah. Um, but that's when uh, what was his name Diego Hector. <laughs> he's he he is the guy who plays Hector oh. in almost every movie. In every yeah. movie, he's always Hector. But in this yeah. one, he's Diego. Uh, he he was really branching out. He's like, I gotta do a different. <laughs> I gotta try something different. He is. He breaks into their house and is going to rape the girls. Essentially, right? That's the he's gonna yep. rape and murder them. And uh, very uncomfortable way to jump into this movie. I mean, I know. Yeah, I know. Obviously, that's gonna happen, but it it feels. I don't know. Um, it's a it's a very effective way to make your audience uncomfortable. Um, yeah, and you know, sad. It, it sucks though. Sadly, I feel like again, if if the purge was real, there would be a lot more rapes. Yeah. Like I feel like it might even be more than murder. I don't know. I think it would be like a substantial number. I I I think this is probably pretty accurate. I think You think so? The rape murder thing. The ratio? Yeah. Well, like him going in there to rape them and then kill them is probably pretty accurate to what would happen like this feels really dark to consider and to say but i think people would not want that to be a reminder to them the next day yeah maybe yeah maybe i don't know but anyway so he shows up and he's going to to rape and kill the, these girls then he gets killed before anything happens by these guys wearing all black Super soldiers. Yep. They find the girls in the closet and they're like, oh, let's take him. I think they call him Big Daddy. Is that? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, oh, what was it? it I think it was I, Big Daddy or something. It was Nicholas Cage no, it's not. from Kick Ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought that was, um, not, not Nicholas Cage. I thought when every time I saw him before he took his hat off at the end, I, I uh-huh. thought it was, uh, Kevin Bacon. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, not Kevin Bacon. Was it Kevin Bacon? Yeah, Kevin Bacon. I kept thinking it was Kevin Bacon. But, uh, Jack, Jack huh. Connolly was Big Daddy. And so they're like, this is who Big Jack. Daddy would want. Let's take him down. And yeah. they take him down. So Big Daddy, who is in the back of a moving truck that's got like a machine gun, an automatic, it's got like a 50 cal mounted gun yeah. on it. And I assume he was going to shoot them with that or I, I, I yeah, was, that wasn't really, yeah, clear. I didn't know what, how big daddy was going to kill anyone, but they're bringing out girls for him to kill. Uh, and this is when Frank Grillo shows up. I mean, he's shown up in the movie a little bit. His wife is like, if you do this, it's not going to help anything. And, Frank Grill is like, get out of here, I'm doing this. Gets in his car. Yeah. 
He's loaded up with guns. He's got an armored car and like he's all ready to go. See, he's ready to purr. He sees the girl is about to get killed by Big Daddy and he's just like, just keep driving, just keep driving, which feels very played out. I feel like that's a, something that has happened a lot in movies where someone is on a mission and they are like telling themselves to continue. You know what I mean? Like that moment didn't really feel authentic. Yeah. But anyways, he decides to stop and kills five super soldiers and shoots Big Daddy and is trying to save them. And then Big Daddy starts getting up and they're running away because he's about to shoot him with a machine gun. Mm-hmm. They get back to the car and they find the kid from Friday Night Lights and his girlfriend are in the back of the car and they all have to run away together because Big Daddy's starting to shoot at him. Yeah, pretty much. Um, they, he, he doesn't, he wants to kick everybody out because he's doing his own thing and they convince him that it, or no, I guess that's later on, huh? The car thing. Never mind. Well, yeah, so the, their car breaks down because it gets shot up and they're running through the town and, uh, what happens? They're, they're like, I'll, t- they're getting chased, getting chased, and... Yeah, the same group of guys is, like, on their trail. You know, the guys on motorcycles is... is It seems to be looking for them. And I'll tell you, the, the most terrifying thing about all these Purge movies, the one that, like, legit scared me the most was it showed a guy, like, on top of a real tall building with a sniper. Uh-huh. I was like, can you imagine, like... That's one guy, but there'd probably be a bunch. Well, and there's nothing, there's almost nothing you can do to, like, avoid a sniper other than staying inside. Like, and you won't see it coming, you won't know anything, it's just gonna hit you. Well, that's you. what I was saying about in the first Purge movie, when those, all those kids are walking down the street, I feel like there definitely would have been people shooting at them back. You know, like, just like, this is my home, I'm gonna protect it from anyone type of an attitude. Just trying to snipe yeah. people. But also, it, it seemed opposite. Like, the the people that would have been around were, like, assisting them and telling them, you know, where the where the homeless guy ran off to, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if you if you are not for the purge, then you're, you're – I don't know if you're just going to shoot at random people unless they are legit trying to get into your house. Yeah, I guess that's true. And if they're only getting into your neighbor's house and you don't like your neighbors anyways, yeah. I'm not going to stop them. <laughs> you do what you yeah, want. I feel like you're revealing too much about yourself on these episodes about the purge. <laughs> oh, that's – that's fine. <laughs> you're like, so if actually, someone's trying to kill my neighbor, I'm just going to let it happen. I don't care about my neighbors. If I'm that person in there and I've already shown that I don't like them, <laughs> um, then yes. But yeah, so they're getting chased. They keep, you know, almost running the purgers. Uh, and then Frank Grillo's like, I have something to do. I'm getting out of here. Uh, and then the mom tells him that she's, she knows a friend within a mile who he can have a car from. And he's like, all right, I'll do that. Let's go there. And it, yeah, and really. Eventful. This whole storyline, I I didn't care for it. It was, it felt like filler. Like they needed to just fill some time because that was another thing I wanted to point out was the first movie is re- actually really short. Yeah, it's like eighty minutes or something like that. Yeah. Well, it's actually like five minutes too long, I would say. But oh no, it's definitely the, the, it's still too long. Last. But as far as like okay. movies go, it's. It's still pretty yeah. short. Um, I f- yeah, the 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 whole scene where they're at the house, I just didn't care for that. Yeah, it felt so they, they on, on the way there. Uh, Zach Guilford's character gets shot in the shoulder. Uh, they get chased off and they fight back a few times. They get chased and they get to the apartment. But go ahead. Yeah. So. They're there and, and everyone who's already there is real, is being real casual. I'm like, look, dude, I saw people in the last one who had like legit home systems and they were not this casual. You have nothing. I could just walk in the front door. Also, you just let in six people that you don't know. Don't act like this is all like 
cool. I don't yeah. know. It, it, they were too casual yeah. about it. Um, I don't know. Basically, another thing that I didn't care for. I don't know if maybe I I didn't find it realistic. Is this whole and and maybe it was just his family like this whole like what's mine is yours type thing. Is that because you're nice or is that because it's the purge or like I'm not gonna let anyone have any of my stuff, especially my car. <laughs> Now, I know that obviously doesn't come to fruition, but, like, if there was ever a day I was never going to see that car again, it's going to be during the purge. I don't know. It, I didn't like the attitudes of everyone in that apartment. Yeah. Well, I think the idea was sort of like he was going to let us die if I didn't give him. Like, so if someone, if I gave someone your car, Yep. And I was like, he was going to leave me on the streets. I'm sorry. I think that would have been enough. It, I mean, it, maybe it would have destroyed our friendship. Maybe. You know, but like, it yeah. would have been reasonable, I think, on everyone's. Everyone would have found it reasonable enough for it to make sense. Yeah, I guess. But it. I just, I didn't, I didn't care for it. I didn't like how. We barely meet this family, and then they get real murdery all of a sudden. And we're supposed to feel like so invested. I felt like they wanted us to be invested in their in their stories. Yeah. Yet we they were just introduced, and it felt really rushed. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I that all that stuff was poorly handled. Um, because so I I must have kind of checked out at this point when she shoots her sister, right? Yeah, I thought the girl who died and then the guy she was shooting at next, I thought they were married, but they weren't married. He was married to the shooter and cheating on yes. her with her sister. Did not realize that but until... Were were they cheating or did was she just like suspicious? She said, I found all I your remember. emails or something like that. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. Um, And so she murders her sister and is trying to murder her husband because they're sleeping together. Uh, yep. Frank Grillo and his group are like, we're out of here. And they, you know, try to take out, take off. Um, and they, where does the next car come from? Um, cause there wasn't a car. So that she, she lied to Frank Grillo to get him to this apartment. Turns out there wasn't a car at all. They, oh, you know what it was? So they're, they're in the they apartment kidnapped, and right? yeah and that's when the original the first group who cut the power steering line shows up in the apartment kills all the other people yeah. and kidnaps them and they seem friendly at first they're like why haven't you killed this and like oh we're not purging they're like what are you doing like oh we're trying to get money we're just doing a job or something and like so that. they take everyone to the and this Again, this is the whole Batman villainous thing where it like really took a turn that it didn't need to take. All these rich people are having like this auction to go and murder people. So they're bringing in people, they get auctioned off, and then you go into essentially a paintball field is what it seemed like. Yeah, I'd, some kind of gladiator arena. <laughs> and... uh the people you buy to kill don't have any weapons and you go in with weapons of your choice. And so now yeah. the main cast is weaponless and they're being attacked by seven people who have machine guns, machetes and pistols and night vision goggles. Frank Grillo, superhero man goes and kills an old woman, takes her stuff, kills the next guy. Then he kills like three more people. And there, so there, I think there's two left he goes back and gives them guns and stuff. And uh, Zach Guilford and his girlfriend are making up. They're like, because they're the whole their whole storyline oh, is yes. they're breaking up. They're like, we're done, you know. Right. I I that was another thing. I what was the the deal with the insistence upon telling the sister? I don't know. It, I we gotta tell my sister. I'm like, why? I I'm. Like, yeah, eventually she'll find out, but, like, why is that, like, the focal point? My assumption, the story that I, like, backfilled for that part, like, yeah. is that there's his sister got them together. That 
she his girlfriend was friends with his sister and then his sister hooked him up and so i was like we need to let my sister know that we're no longer no longer together whatever i it it, it didn't make any sense but no even even then because they were actually married right or were they just dating? i think they were just dating oh okay um I don't know. It just felt weird that like it kept coming up like multiple times. Oh yeah, no, it was very weird, for sure. And not maybe like an offhand comment will be like, "Oh man, gonna have to tell my sister" or something like yeah. that. Then, then I, I I could see that. But the fact that we're like, we really really need to tell your sister. We gotta tell the sister. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. no, you if don't. It- you gotta survive, <laughs> and then maybe like discuss that later. Yeah. That this is not a like a conversation for purge night. Yeah. And, uh, so they're, they're finally like, you know, saying that they love each other. And then Zach Gelford gets just shot up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause they come in the door, like right out in the open, just like, bop, 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 and just fill them, fill them up with bullets. Yeah. And so, um, that one caught me off guard. I didn't expect Yeah. That. I thought he was going to survive. Um, I'm guessing that might be a theme throughout these movies. The, Someone dies. Well, yeah, the the person you want, you like, who, I think Frank Grillo is technically the main character of this movie, but Zach Gilford, yeah, definitely is the one that you are the most, uh, not connected with, but like relatable. Yeah, maybe the most uh, sympathetic character, or like, yeah, you know what I mean. That like the same with Ethan Hawke. He was kind of. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily the main character, but like the one that you kind of focused on. The head of, yeah. No, I know. What you mean. Um, but anyway, so Frank Grillo is fighting them off. They call in their security guards to come and kill them because they had killed so many. The security guards are coming. The main cast is being overwhelmed, and then the resistance fighters—I don't know what they called themselves, if anything—show yeah, up. They were. They had a name, I, I, I guess, Resistance. Yeah, and again, this was the movie. So the movie, it's another thing that I had, I had a similar issue with uh, Bright. Um, the movie puts forth that the issue is the poverty or like the social status is the difference, right? Yeah. But to differentiate between the social statuses it's you know white and black people for the most part or white and minorities um right and i get it it's not strong enough to do that and just let that be the assumption like the because it's that is not true right like i know that there is a big disparity between the races and with poverty and stuff like that. But it's not it's not like all white people are rich and all black people are poor. It's not the way the world works. No, and 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 and, and especially in this world, yeah, you don't have to have any money to participate. You don't have to have any money to go out and kill people. Like, yeah, the rich people are the only ones able to do this, like, effectively kidnapping, uh, arena style, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyone can go out there and kill. It's got nothing to do with race or class or anything. You just, well, so, so my point was if the commentary is a racial thing, it should really hit on it. It should not be an assumption or, a lazy stereotype of, oh, the poor people are black and the rich people are white. That's enough. Yeah. It should, it should, re- like, if you're gonna do that, then commit to it and actually say something, say, yeah, say something of value yeah. and not just skirt around the edges it. and make it like, cause what they say the issue is, is rich and poor. But what they're showing mm-hmm. you is white and black. It's, well, and yeah, exactly. it's very frustrating to watch with, you know, with the purge because it happens in this one. It happened in the first one with bright. It happened. And it's just like, uh, there's tons and tons of movies. I can't think of any specifically, but like commit to it. If that's what you're going for, don't, yep. don't try to put it on something else. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not, 
it's it's people it's 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 writing that that leaves yourself an out right because let's say that it doesn't go over well with the audience you, you can back out of it and be like well we weren't going for race we were going for you know social class, class. it just exactly and this is just how you perceived it this and that but it could also it's it's being able to to potentially set it up as a, a white and black thing, but but leaving yourself the ability to say it's not in case it doesn't work yeah. out. Yeah, it, it's so frustrating because you know what it it makes me feel racist because I'm like oh oh no for know, sure like, like with Brighton like with this it's like oh well the the poor people are all black so they're the and it's like well why am I thinking that and it's like oh because that's what they're showing me. Do you yeah. know, like I feel like I didn't yeah. say that well, but no, I know what you mean. It, it's it's just really frustrating. Like it's not. I don't know. It's just it just feels lazy, and like you said, it just feels like a back door, if, so they don't have to be, they don't have to commit to what they're trying to say, and that's yeah. If if you if 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 your main point truly is you know to show rich and poor and not a racial thing, then show like all races in both groups, you know, that it doesn't matter. There's, there's, there's both, or there's all kinds of races, you know, that are rich and poor and they're all just killing each other or whatever. Or if you're trying to do something on racism on a a racial commentary, then do that too. That's mm -hmm. fine. But that's fine. But, but yeah, exactly. Like it, it, it's very clearly racially divided throughout this movie, and it's not it's not committed to when so that that no. it drives me crazy when that happens I know yeah I, I know what you're saying but anyways <laughs> they they get saved by the resistance they, fighters they get out they get to their car uh Zach Guilford's girlfriend decides to stay with the resistance fighters because she decided she's going to purge because she watched her boyfriend die. So now she's going to get revenge. Uh, Frank yep. Grillo and the two other girls get in a car. Now they're Mexican, right? Uh, yes. Their dad potentially mixed. Seem black, right? I would say they could be both. Yeah. Cause that's what <laughs> I, I was oh, a little confused when. Yeah. No, the, the dad was black. I want to say they, they could have been okay. mixed. Um, but anyway, so there was Frank Grillo. Frank Grillo takes him to a house. He's got like, I think it was like five minutes left or like barely any time left. And then, yeah, and he's like, this is the house. And they're like, you don't have to do this. Just stay here with us. Purges, you know, almost over. Like, don't go inside. Don't, you don't have to kill anyone. And he's like, this guy killed. And it, this drove me crazy because he said 12 months ago he was driving drunk and killed my son and on a technicality got yeah. off. Okay, 12 months ago was the purge, right? So why? Yeah, so are you saying he did it during the purge or he did it in everyday life? That was kind of yeah. unclear to me. I, I, I think it was just a normal day 12 months ago. And it's like it, it was just too confusing like – uh, why 12 months ago? Just yeah. make it nine months ago or make it, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't need to be, or don't even give it a time. Just say he did. Yes. This. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so he's there because he, he was driving drunk, killed his, the guy, Frank Grillo's son. Frank Grillo is ready to get his revenge. Uh, two weeks prior to that had dis disarmed his back door security system. Yeah. Gets in the house. Uh, gets a hunting knife and takes him out of bed and is like, you, you took my boy from me. You took my boy from me. And, uh, I thought Frank Grillo did a, a pretty good job in that scene. I, you know, I, I will say I, I liked, I liked both because yeah, Frank Grillo did great. And I feel like at the same time, the other guy, yeah, like he's, he's built up to be this, monster who killed someone's kid and they had no punishment for it but you could you could tell that like it wasn't like no thing to him you know like he he immediately knew who he was and what he had done and like he 
Like, it's probably something that he has been living with, you know, since it happened. I, I, I mean, th- there's not really a lot to base that on, but that's, that was a feeling that I got from the way he was portrayed. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was, I thought that was a great yeah. scene. And then, so the next scene is Frank Grillo walks out of the house and gets shot down by Big Daddy. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. is standing over him and giving the dumb speech about the freaking monologue the new founding fathers which every time that happens is like it's almost too much to you know like yeah. it's just like no one would talk just like stop. this no one nope you like even people who completely buy in to a political party or an ideal or anything like that they don't talk about it this way it's like poetic and just like yeah it happens <sighs> so many times in these movies but anyways, so he's getting ready to kill Frank Grillo, whose name is Sergeant, which was weird. Oh, I don't even remember his name. Is that what well, they Well, he say? calls him Sergeant, and then on IMDb, that's his name. I thought, oh, maybe he oh, really? was a, a military person, which would make more sense for how well and effective he was at killing people. But either he mm-hmm. was a sergeant or he... Uh, anyways, uh... In the least shocking twist of all time, Frank Grillo had not killed the guy who killed his son. That guy yeah. kills Big Daddy. The purge ends. People are all on a standoff with guns because Big Daddy's guys are there. The Mexican girls are there. And the drunk driver's there. The purge alarm goes off. Everyone puts their guns down. They pick Frank Grillo up and take him to the hospital. Yes. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the movie, uh, right? That's, uh, yeah, I believe so. And, uh, I, again, I think I, what they tried to do, I appreciate because they, that I think, I think a lot of people had a similar issue that I did with the first one where it was like, you wasted this awesome premise for what could be really interesting stories. So they're like, all right, let's, mm-hmm. let's put it in the world. You know, let's get on the streets and just kind of let things happen. But the cartooniness and the the hyper realism of the world, especially when it came to the rich people, yeah. um, was so frustrating. Uh, overall, I think the first purge is better, but I, I think if you like the first purge, you'll probably enjoy this one as well. I mean, I think overall I enjoyed it. Mm. Um, you know, it, it kept me in, interested and, you know, it made me want to see the next one. Yeah. You know, I wasn't like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm done with these movies. Do you want to do the next one next on the podcast? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Um, I have to finish watching it. Well, uh, so next, for our next episode, we'll finish the purge and then I'm sure we'll do the fourth one whenever it comes out. But let, let us know if you want us to continue doing series like this, if it's better to do, if it's a trilogy to do episodes back to back, or if you'd rather us spread them out. Or if you want us to just cancel the whole podcast. Or just cancel Taylor from the podcast. I, (laughs) just Alan talking to himself. (laughs) Um, but yeah, no, I think the Purge Anarchy, it's fine. It's, it's one of those, it's, uh, to me, it's on a similar level as Saw, the Saw movies. Y- yeah, yeah, in, in the same vein, mm, it, not, not as extreme, oh no. but to where like, the, the violence is like nearly the same. What ridiculous way can we kill people and this yeah, and that? Yeah, it's like Final Destination. So, Final Destination is probably yeah, like, yeah. you, when you watch a Final Destination movie, you kind of know exactly what you're getting into. You're not expecting mm-hmm. it to be like, you know, groundbreaking or deep or you're just like, it's like a, like a magic trick, like a card trick. You're like, Oh, I, you know, this is something is going to happen. I'm curious to see what it is. And, uh, yep, exactly. That's kind of what these are. So I'm looking forward to the next one. I haven't seen it yet, but, uh, I am. Well, so I've seen part of it. But now, so like I said, I went into the first one with very low expectations and it was pleasantly surprised. But now that I'm watching them, like, I feel like my expectations are building mm. 
And with with all that going into the new one coming out this year, I think I'm probably not going to like it. Just because now I actually have higher expectations, and it's going to still be the same movie as the yeah. others. So I think – so the third one is election year. I don't know what that story is about at all. The fourth one, the one that's coming out in 2018 – is the first purge a prequel and i think yeah. this that premise has the most depth the oh for sure the most potential to be it's got potential good as we know potential is <laughs> never doesn't always be <laughs> rarely realized um so it, it yeah, will probably there's so much that they can do it will probably not be good but the chance, like it, the potential for how good it could be, is very high. I want to see people getting killed, but I want to see the people like I, like what I was saying earlier. I want to see those people like real nervous about it, like almost as if like is this really like we can really just go kill someone or what's the deal? You know, no one's just gonna be like instantly be like, all right, let's go kill everyone we see. Yeah, you. I don't know. It's. The concept is People, there. I guess we'll see if it's executed. In the first two, the the predators were overly confident mm-hmm. to an annoying yeah. degree, and yeah. it, I think seeing it where people are vulnerable and scared and like just kind of losing it would be much more interesting. And I think seeing it from the point of view of people against the purge and like not being on board with it and it like, you know, protesting the idea of it and all that type of stuff that should be happening that would happen if this was ever an actual thing, I think will be very interesting. Will they do even any of people, that? I have no idea. I, I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Who knows? I don't count on it. But. People not taking the whole thing seriously and not properly like preparing themselves to defend themselves. Cause like, okay, we're not really gonna, just gonna like devolve as a civilization and start killing everyone. Like, you yeah. know, I don't know. It's, who knows? It's, there's a lot of different ways they can go yeah. with it. But, uh, yes. I hope they go all the ways. All the ways. We will be, uh, back in a few days with the purge election year. Let us know if, yes. uh, again, if you, if you enjoy us doing a series like this, or if you'd rather us break it up like we've done with other stuff. But uh you can go over to Patreon and you help us out over there. Patreon.com slash I seen that. Uh you can follow us on Twitter, I seen that pod, and like us on Facebook. And we'd also like to say thank you to Boss Play, uh our sponsor, who will not try to murder you if you go there. Uh you'll nope. just have a good time. No they they have nothing to purge, so don't worry about that. Because it is an escape room, but it's not like a dangerous one. That is correct. 